Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, so today, thanks to uh, Mr. McChillin, we're going to be playing uh, some cursed format. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be playing a, a very cool deck um, that I hope gets to pop off. We'll see if it gets to or not. But we're going to be playing Jeskai Hinata, a, uh, a take on Jeskai Control that has a bit of a pseudo-combo thing going on. Uh, it's very popular in Standard. Right now, apparently Standard is like a million percent this deck. Uh, you'll see top eights that are literally like just this deck, uh, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, <laughs> like it's just it's just fun. I'm looking at lists. It's just fucking everywhere. Like, look at the standard challenge: second, third, fifth, sixth, eighth, twelfth, fourteenth, and sixteenth. They're all this <laughs> silly. Uh, but maybe that means it has some uh, potential in Pioneer. Uh, so you've got a basic blue-white control shell. Right, you've got the you've got the absorbs, you've got sensors, you've got marches, you've got teferis. What you don't have that is popular in the blue white control shells um, in this format is the Wandering Emperor. But there's nothing in this deck that says you can't be playing it. Potentially a card you might want to think about. Um, I know that card's like very popular in this format. It's supposed to be pretty dang strong. So, uh, but other than that, you know, it looks very much like a a blue white control list. Uh, but we've got this red combo esque package. Now, this is something that I did a lot of early Pioneer, which is like the Torrential Gear Hulk combos. Uh, I was doing Torrential Gear Hulk with Commit Memory and Narset. Um, here, uh, which, which did play Dig Through Time at the time, so you get like you get the Torrential Gear Hulk Dig Through Time plan, but you get the thing that I was doing in Historic for a while, which was uh, Magma Opus Torrential Gear Hulk. You discard your Magma Opus, you make a treasure, you Torrential Gear Hulk, get to cast Magma Opus, um, which is like a pretty hard card to overcome. You know, you're getting your five six. So for six mana, you're getting a five six at instant speed, dealing four damage, tapping two things. Making a 4-4, drawing two cards. That's that's just, like, a huge amount of advantage. Um, so, you know, hopefully that is just enough to win you a game. Um, so you've got that little combo. But now, Hinata gives you another angle. If you can play your Hinata and untap with it, which I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well, um, you, can, you can cast it for uh, two mana, Merc. Not, not four straight up to um so with hanada uh spells you cast cost one less to cast for each target if you split your magma opus damage up to four different targets and then tap two different permanents you can cast magma opus for two mana that is six different targets two mana magma opus that's insane you do need six different targets so your opponent needs to have a board state but like that's wild um so equinox so that is that is you're, you're you're all you're all jumping ahead of me you're jumping ahead of me don't worry i know uh, so very interesting right uh uh hinata potentially very powerful an issue i have with the deck this is you know this is uh a donation list i wanted to play it as is i notice that we are using absorb and I am wondering if one of the blue, blue, colorless counter spells would be better suited for this deck. So early on, we had like the surveil one. Um, you know, that was that was kind of I don't remember the name of it, but those would all get reduced by Hanada down to being actually just counter spell. So I don't know like how in on Hanada you want to be, um, but. I, I'm thinking you potentially want to be playing a counter spell that can theoretically be reduced. We we are playing sensor. Sensor can get reduced down to one mana, which is really nice. It just becomes four spike with Nana. Um, but Dobin's veto and absorbs aren't getting touched by it. So I, I I feel like that that discount is probably worth it. But if the format is aggressive enough, I again this is coming from somebody that I'm I'm just looking at deck building synergies rather than 
you know, how these things would play in the actual format, because I am not super familiar with how the format looks right now, especially since the bans. Um, uh, but maybe the life gain is important, but I could see Sinister Sabotage being a nice one. Surveil plays nicely with the Magma Opus. If you see one on top, you can just dump it. Um, if you see any garbage, you got Dig Through Time, you've got Memory Deluge, you've got a handful of things that, like, are kind of fine to throw in the bin. Um, but maybe the life gain is important. If the, if the format is aggressive enough, maybe the life gain's important. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about, like, how often am I gonna be able to, like, play Hinata and untap with it? Um, you know, do I have to wait until I have seven mana to play my Hinata? I don't know. I don't know. Um, interesting. But that's something to think about. Uh, you know, our sensors are still getting reduced. Obviously, our magma opuses, our marches are getting reduced, which is nice. But I think that's the extent of what's getting reduced in the main deck. Um, and I think we could maybe, if we're going to be playing for Hinata, you know, I know it is kind of just like an A plus B with magma opus, but if we can make it, you know, a little stronger, I, I think it's worth doing. When you got four copies of the card, it, it's probably worth building into it a little bit more. Um, the sideboard I also didn't touch. This is because I don't fucking know what you need for this format in the sideboard. <laughs> like, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I I have no idea. I assume green is still bonkers. Winota got banned, and there was a big hit to red-blue with uh, expressive iteration getting banned. I, I thought green was far and away the best deck, so I assume it's still really good. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um... Yeah, the sea wave is making me consider visiting Yukon. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot here too. It's pretty hot here today. I bet it's hotter there. Uh, I'm too much of a coward to play Sublime Epiphany. That is a spicy one. I, I feel like there's a lot of uh, a lot of options for this deck. A lot of options for this deck. Um, but I'm just gonna run it. We're just gonna jump in. You know, we gotta. We got. We're going in blind to a degree. It's playing a lot of cards that I like. It's playing the colors I like. I'm just going to go in, have a good time, see what's going on in this format. Am I just going to get punched by mono green? Maybe. Maybe not. But maybe. No plans for the rest of the stream. I don't know what I want to do with the rest of our time this evening. Uh, so we'll, uh, maybe I'll leave that up to you guys. We'll, we'll see what we want to do after this. Um, I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about that Delver deck uh, that he was playing. That looked pretty cool. Please don't just play against Mono Blue Spirits again. Oh, Christ. I hope not. Oh, that's what happened last time, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope not. Ugh, I hope not. Yuck. 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 Uh, today I got some more of my commander cards in that I'm excited uh, to play with, uh, to, to get fluffy with next time we play. I'm pretty excited. Got some spicy ones in today. Uh, I also ordered a card and then had to, I was looking for a card uh, for the deck in one of my binders and right in front of me was the card I just placed an order for and I was like, huh. <laughs> so I had to go uh, cancel that one nice <laughs> I felt like a douche that always feels like a douche move but I'm, uh, I'm getting this deck all ready to, to play against uh, I think it's gonna be fluffy grayest I don't know who our fourth is gonna be but fluffy and grayest are gonna be joining me at some point my favorite mono blue foil I own favorite Mono, man, that's hard. You're gonna pick the color that has all my favorite cards in it. Mono blue foil. My number one. Favorite mono blue foil. Oh, that's so hard. That's such a deep pool. I mean. The World Wake Jace is always going to be... This is a nice hand. That's always going to hold a, a special place. Cryptic is gorgeous. My Snapcasters I love. Oh, I, have, I love so many blue cards. 
<laughs> but I like so many blue cards, Void. That's yeah. I, how 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 could I make it? No, dude, come on! <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Mr. McChillin, you cursed us. You cursed us. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, uh, I'm just going to kill this. Because I'm not going to be able to like counter anything anyways through it. I'm just going to kill this. Oh, hi, kitty cat. Man, what's the number one? Mono blue card. Mono blue card. Man, I really love this one. I don't. Is this number one? I don't know, but I love it. It's sick. Do I? Is it number one? No, it's not number one. They play Shacklegeist. God damn it. Mono blues. Like. Uh. Oh, you know what? Actually, this might be it. It's a recent pickup, and this card is just like. I love this. I, I love this card so much. Um, I love this card so much. Hold on. Okay. 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 I'm actually just going to play the Sacred Foundry, I think. All right, here, hold on. Gotta do this real quick. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Okay. This might be my favorite mono blue card I own right now. All right. It's up there. I, it, number one, I don't know. Uh, uh, top three? I'll give it top three for sure. Might be number one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, here it is. Easily one of my favorites, if not my favorite. My uh, eighth edition foil merchant scroll. It's so sick, dude. <laughs> it's such a sick one. I I love that thing. It was like it came in super 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 clean. Yeah, you did. Honestly, that was a tough one. Like that, it's it's probably between like that, Jason, and, and straight up just Snapcaster Mage. Ugh, you suck, dude. Because it's like they're not even gonna play another creature, so it's like yeah, I can verdict. Whoop de doo. They're just gonna say go here. I have to verdict. Probably gonna cycle. Like, I can't let them just bury me with this thing. You just got a pack of homelands? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to see rattle chains into another curiosity. Fuck this deck, dude. Like... <laughs> It's like it's in my commander deck right now. It was in there because I had dramatic, like dramatic scepter. Now it's just in there, just cause, just cause, cause it's pretty. It doesn't really have anything super good to get. <laughs> I mean, it's got like dig through time. <laughs> it gets a couple of things. It gets some good counter spells. Such a miserable deck. Mystical Tutor is in the deck. That is that that is a line I can take. Mr. McChillin, I'm so sorry. Hopefully this is the only one. Yeah. Oh, Lofty Oil? Who'd have guessed? Uh, red, white, blue. 
I'll play a spirit of my own. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, Frank. We're, we're trying it right now. It's the first game. It's my first time casting it. <laughs> Why'd you sell them? Aren't they like, uh... Aren't they like, like 50 cents? Why even sell them? Card's busted. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, they're busted. They're going to they're going to the moon. Shouldn't have sold them. What the fuck? They're not gonna tap me. Spells uh, tap two untapped spirits. Why didn't they didn't want to like get in for four? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I guess they could like tap me now. And then hit me for more, I guess. Yeah, sure, whatever. Magma Opus. Oh! 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 Do I risk it getting counter? <laughs> I think I'm supposed to just do it right now. The question is, what am I doing? I think I'm killing both of these. I'm just going kill both of these. Oh, man, I really want to kill the rattle chains. Maybe I just go one of these plus the rattle chains. I know they have one card in hand, and I can make it cost four. But if they have, if lo if another lofty denial or another rattle chains. One, two, three, four. Oh man, if I could if I had a land here and I could have the absorb up as well. I can, I can. If I go kill here, kill here, here, tap two. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Kill here. Kill here, ping here, tap, tap. Looks like a target face to get another target. That's good. I mean, this is sick. They still kind of have this scary air force. Not killing both Shaco guys is a little iffy, but I think I had to make this play. Just got two foil steel shapers gift. Ooh, that's hot. I got this day here. I'll show you the cards I got today. I got two really pretty cards too. This one is gorgeous. God, I love this deck. I can't wait to play this on stream. Gear all off the draws. Oh, they're casting something? Oh, no. They're leveling that up. Okay. Good play. Good play. That's a good play. How about a Teferi? Interesting. They get to fucking chunk me, though. But then I can, like, Teferi down tick here. It's kind of sick. It's, like, a little sick. Wait. Hello? Wait.
do I want absorb up? <laughs> do I want absorb up? If I shock, I can have absorb up. I have this here, I have this here. I know this doesn't fly either. This is vigilance. And then I get to do this. Okay. Ooh, baby. If we can turn this corner, be on easy street. Got a deluge in the bin, Teferi in play, board pretty gummed up, counter spell in hand, sweeper ready. Let's go! We won that game, dude! Sick! <laughs> Fucking sick! <laughs> uh, Alright, I want to bring all these in. Wait, I want to bring all these in. Holy cow. That's a sideboard. Alright, take all these fucking sensors out. These stink-ass absorbs. Boom. Yeah! Yeah, and now we're just removal. Is that how I want to do this? Do it by fucking mana value, dude. Is that how I want to do this? Maybe. I mean, Deluge is pretty good, but it's also, like, very counterable. I could play it over... Farewell's meh. I mean... It is and it isn't. Like, also very counterable, but, like, uh, maybe, maybe, I might, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right. This looks fine. Alright, hold on, I want to show the cool cards I got today. I posted one of them in Discord. Here's the, here's the cool pretty cards I picked up today. First one, this is the one I showed in Discord. This card's so, this, it's a pretty one. That's a pretty foil, dude. Look at that. Archivist of Sugma. Super excited to play this one. I think this card looks awesome. And it's like exactly what I need in that deck. I need uh, I need card draw like super bad. So I got that one and then I got this one. You ready for this spicy one? <sighs> spicy little uh, Lorowin Heat Shimmer action. Little... Uh, yeah, it's the Archivist of Sugma. Uh, little little Lorwyn Heat Shimmer? Little combo action? Whew. Don't tell Fluffy about this one now, okay? He doesn't don't he doesn't get to know about that one until it's killing him. He's not gonna see it coming. Hi kitty cat. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, kitty. Bye, kitty. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's to uh, it's to combo off with the best card in the deck, Dual Caster Mage. It's just Splinter Twin. Ah, damn it! Needed them to not have the Mausoleum Wonder there, but they did. It is what it is. Okay. I mean, they're going to have a one drop, right? Mosley and Wander, the other stupid snow one. Pretty easily just go for the counter here. They can sack Mosley and Wander if they want. They don't. They send for the one. Uh, I could just pop off a... Like, I, I don't think it's crazy to just go for a fry here. You know what? I, okay, so I could wait until their turn, and potentially I get them if they go for a curiosity effect, but I get blown out if they have a rattle chains. So, 
So about the double, yeah, it's uh, whoo, it's rough, Cole. It's a rough one, but there's a couple of nice cards in there. Um, I'm really excited for Dockside, uh, Cold Steel Heart. You know, uh, I think I'm supposed to just do it. I think I'm supposed to just do it. Uh, that would be difficult, chap. This requires white mana. That would require me to cheat. Okay. Okay, we're fucked. Oh, we're super fucked. Well, shit. <laughs> We're looking good. I mean, we're at seven, but they have three cards in hand. They have no pressure in play. And I have double Hanada. Third land. Not a curiosity effect. I prioritize killing the Mausoleum Wanderer, especially with them stuck on lands. And they get to four lands, obviously. This will be problematic, but... I do think I just go for a Hanada now. Kind of expect whatever I play to get countered. Obviously, I could play Supreme Verdict, but I don't think that's good right now. Yep. Okay, they have the chains. Now we're going to verdict, obviously. Hey, what's up, Eccles? Going to three. Want to see lands? Is there a draw? Beautiful. Verdict is clean here. Hopefully not another Rattle Chains. Hopefully just not another Flash Threat in general. And then if we rip another Pain-Free Land, Gear Hulk on the end step would be lovely. Ah, they had another Flash Threat. At least it wasn't two. It wasn't a Chains. They have a Curiosity. They're going to put us to one. Land. Alright, I mean, I'm going to put an Opus in the bin. And then play a Hanada. Counterspell, of course, beats us. Okay. Close game. We were stuck on two lands for a very long time. Run it back. No, it's only got two lands, but this time we're on the play, and we could maybe get ahead of their stuff by getting to catch the first thing with a Mystical Dispute. It's a bit of a clunker, but Blue Source Mystical Dispute, second land. I, I know it's a clunker, but dispute literally anything here. 
no, you don't want Vito. What would I want Vito for? You know? Like, Vito to fight over their counter spell. I, I, I have the mystical disputes for that. I They are pressuring me so much that I'm never going to be able to play something and then have a Vito up to protect it against one of their counter spells. And at that point, a lot of their counter spells are like counter unless you pay three. Get one more mana that I'm just, you know casting the i can just pay for it they uh, it's it's just like it's not worth it a veto is not worth fighting over their counter spells because i i have to their counter spells are only ever coming to like my answers and i'm always having to tap out for those i don't have enough uh like i you, you get what i'm saying if they tap out i'm gonna go for Hanada. if they don't i'm gonna go for deluge Okay, I like seeing our second white source for a verdict there. I'm just going to pass. They can sack Wanderer for day to counter the Deluge, is what it is if they do. It's a removal spell, I guess. Uh, sure. I'll do it in combat now. If they want to counter it, they don't get the they don't get the card. Like March dispute, pretty important that I kill this uh, this wanderer. That sucks. One two plus dispute. I think I just play Hinata here with counter magic up. Because this dies if they don't get in. They're going to have a counter. I'm going to dispute back. I got to hope they don't, they can't double counter. I have to hope they don't have like lofty plus dispute or what fucking whatever. I guess they have the mausoleum, but if they have to sack the mausoleum, then it's good enough. Let that happen. Okay. Hanada's in play. That's good. If they don't attack with Curious, they lose it. It's not super easy. I, like, what do they have to get rid of it? Like, Petty Theft or something? I don't know. Whatever this is. I don't like whatever this is. Changing their mind. Just really hope they can't deal with Hanada this turn. Oh, I think they're trying to cast something. They're trying. They're casting a bounce spell or something, but it costs one more, and they didn't. I bet that's what it is. They're probably casting some bounce spell. I bet they play some kind of shitty bounce spell. Ugh, that's not good for me. But they're realizing it costs one more. They're doing something that's targeting Hanada, I think. Okay, they, they're, they're not doing it. What? Okay. If they trade, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the trade. If they have two one drops, that sucks. Oh, fuck me. Okay, they trade. They trade. They trade. That's fine.
slam another Hanada, and I think just straight up kill this right now while they can't have like another rattle chains or whatever. I don't know. I think I just I think I just kill it. I don't like rattle being in play. Pain costs. No, you're not. Stop it. Okay, we're a little low on fuel here. They do have four cards in hand. They need five mana to pump this to a 4-4. Four four. Nothing, they say go. All right, I'm gonna go for a deluge this turn. Again, I think I would trade these. They don't have enough to double pump, but they can make it a 4-4. Four, four. I, I, I would trade. They can put a 6-mana investment into it. Like, it's fine. It also taps them really low. That I'd probably be able to resolve the Deluge. I think that would be a huge game. Blue instant. Put a 1-1 counter target creature. It phases out. Interesting. They do nothing. I will go for the Deluge. Hopefully they can't interact with this and a Teferi. Wow. Okay. Um... Tough choice. Tough choice. I kind of just want Dispute March. Dispute doesn't help all that much here, but... It kind of does. Maybe it's just double removal spell. Dispute verdict and it's not even close. It is so not dispute verdict. And it is extremely close what you take here. So that's just not fucking true. I'm, like, not trying to verdict my Hanada. Verdict is, like, really bad here. I think it is Dispute... Or, sorry, Portable Hole March. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm just going to start off by holing here. going to level it up. Into a counterspell that slip out the back. It phases out. Okay. Cancel. Get rid of it. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I, I am going to play the Triome rather than cycling here. I'm not going to attack because of the Faceless Havens. Um, I'm going to play the Triome so that I could play Teferi through a counter unless you pay three. Yeah. I think I do block. And then I have Teferi March.
Opus is quite the hit here. Obviously, I need this to work. They've got the counter spell. We've got a game. Oh, I could have pitched. I could have pitched. I should have pitched to pay, play around Lofty Denial. This is still like. Risky as shit for them. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Now I feel like I'm uh, winning this game uh, hugely. <laughs> Baseless. No cards in hand. Faceless coming in. We've got three to faceless. I'm gonna let them attack. Oh, it has vigilance. <laughs> they unfortunately get to draw the card, but it's fine. Uh, one, two, three. Here, here. Tap, tap. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Taking down mono blue, man. Taking down the mono blue spirits. I hate this deck, dude. <laughs> I love our deck, I hate that deck, I hate that deck. Oh, they crush us every time, put the crown on. The crown is, the crown is. Thank you for redeeming the crown there. I feel like that was a uh, proper timing. Hello, cat. She's very excited. Hello. You want to be on camera? Come here. Come here. Come here. Pick you up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Cat. Say hello. Say hello to people. Hi. Okay, you can go down. <laughs> Hi, what's up? What are you doing? She's very fluffy. Oh, I'm so relieved we beat Mono Blue. I'm so relieved we beat Mono Blue. Oh, lovely, lovely. So good. Hi. They reveal a Yorion. Oh, Goldfish gave me a link. Is it a Yorion deck? It is. Alright, so they're totally playing this. Oh, fuck. Is there... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh. Okay. It did, it did. Force did get printed. Could also be zombies. I mean, Goldfish shows that their last deck played literally is that deck. So, last seen one day ago. Like, they're, they're playing this control deck for sure. Actually, I'm not even cycling Magma here. Yeah. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> Uh, out of the pan into the into the fire, you know. Oh lordy, they have thought sees. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna get decimated by this. 
We are going to get absolutely decimated by this. We're not sticking shit. We don't have any way to cheese them. No more Teferi's in the format. Like, we, we stone can't get them. There's no getting them. Looks like they're going to have the tools to slog through all their shit. I shall try. You're not just jamming it to fairy. Oh, you psycho. Oh. That was a bad move on their part. an ambitious to fairy. Like sure you thought these, but like a while ago. Sure. They could have a veto. They main deck that. They do. Alright. Um, I think my best chance to win here is ripping a Hulk, so I am just going to discard this now. Otherwise I pretty pretty dead here. So I'm gonna pitch Hulk. They're drawing a Teferi. I'm just going to go to the next game. Uh, Vito. We're going to bring in Fries. We're going to bring in all our disputes. Farewell. I'm going to cheat and look at their deck. They're going to bring in... Hermits. wiggle our way out of this one. March is an interesting answer to something like Hermit, but I'm not sure where I would make cuts otherwise. nice answer to Hermit. No, they actually aren't even, because they can just sack them in response. Alright, see you, Frank.
Man, having Thoughtseize in your control deck seems uh, pretty good in a matchup like this. Yorion as well. Starting with eight cards. But big Thoughtseize is the big one for sure. Thoughtseize is huge here. We have some nice flash things going on. So that's cool. I think I can get away with playing the hall here. It makes it so I can't veto plus dispute, which may suck. They go for a woman here. Um, so I get to go for like Thoughtseize with a counter spell up. Yeah, that's gonna get me. If I was forced to play Pioneer, I would play this Esper deck. You think so? Hold on, give me one second. It definitely looks interesting. Is it a popular list? Is this like a thing? How much double white matters, but wasn't it from the energy five? I have no idea. I haven't followed this format at all, so I have no idea. What's up, kitty? I have not followed this format even a little bit. to meet my cat too bad <laughs> my cat Bye to fairy. Bye. Bye to fairy. Bye to fairy.
Alright, they got dig through time. I'm just gonna go to the next match. Yeah, I can't imagine a world winning that match. Can't imagine a world winning that matchup. I just can't imagine a scenario where we ever where we are ever ahead of that matchup. Our shit just does not line up into theirs at all. I <laughs> showed you the Chicky Chong guy. I did do that, yeah. I did, I did. But it was it was really, you know, you can really credit Corey for the Chicky Chong guy. Why does Donnie owe you a steak dinner? What happened? Kings is making all kinds of demands and claims today, and I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of it. I don't, I don't like where Kings is coming. He's Kings is coming off very entitled today. <laughs> What's going on here, Kings? Huh? You're saying lines that aren't close when they are close. You're saying you don't give a shit about meeting me. You only want to meet the cat. You're demanding a steak dinner from Donnie. What? What's What's going on, bud? What's the deal? What What, what are you doing? What are you, What's going on? <laughs> Today Today's a Today's a weird day from the Kings, huh? I don't, I don't, I don't like this Kings. He's, he's being a rude boy today, and I, I don't care for it. You missed your chance for all you can eat steak in Pittsburgh. You did. You might be going through a phase. Yeah, well, fucking get over it. <laughs> yeah, how about, uh, how about get way over this phase right now? Man of culture. If anyone visits me, you can have steak or duck. Can the duck I have be alive? Can I get a living duck? It's Kings. Doesn't he get under? Oh my god, instead of over phases. <laughs> Damn, Donnie. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. They are creativity. Oh, I guess I can go... Exile. Exile. Deluge sacking the treasure into Teferi with sensor up. Boop. Big boy. Okay. What do you uh what do you creativity into in this format? They're passing? Well. Well, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Agent of treachery. Okay. Stop it. I'm gonna censor this. You're just letting me untap another land now by doing this. Don't oh wait, unless it's Sokin's in. It's not. I will censor it. Kings, that ship has sailed now, bucko. You've already shown your uh, your true color. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're meowing, huh? Oh, you're so cute. 
Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Kings is canceled. Kings is canceled. I'm gonna ultimate this to fairy. I'm just gonna fucking shock, I don't care. Alright, they have to get through kind of three counter spells. Censoring their fucking huge plays. <laughs> These have been the most brutal censors of all time, dude. Oh my god, these censors. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hi, kitty cat. Oh, why the kitty cat? Why the kitty cat? Uh, I think I just want a bunch of disputes. Hey. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. You're adorable. Oh my goodness. You're just adorable. Farewell. Supreme Verdict. Those are all gone. Uh, I don't think I want anything else. Oh yeah, Veto, Veto, Veto. Good call. Forgot we had another one in the board. <laughs> Sensor's busted. <laughs> I like almost want to keep these marches because they're really good against creativity. They're one mana counter creativity. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, kitty. Oh. Yeah, hello, kitty. Ah! Bit my finger. <laughs> Love bite. Oh, yeah, we don't even need Hanada. Good point. Just take Hanada's out. I, I could leave two. I could Aether Gust. I could Fry. Aether goes to buy t like like Hanada really does actually suck here. Maybe maybe I just cut Hanada. I do Aether Gust. There's additional ways to deal with uh, creativity for you know a moment. Buy me a t buy me a turn against creativity. I think that's fine. Hanada really is not doing much here. This game's gonna be about uh, Gear Hulks and fairies. Okay. I don't hate it. Not the best hand in the world, but I don't hate it. I like the opponent's deck. I want to do some creativity shenanigans. Soakin' said it's a good addition. I'm just gonna play that. I wanna make all these land drops. I think it's fine to just play it. That's an awkward sulfur fall as well. Kinda worried about them just like killing me with Sokens. <laughs> like not even having to do the thing, you know. Ooh, they didn't have their own back? Okay. Well, if I keep drawing lands, I'm going to feel bad about keeping that triome. Uh, so I passed out and missed all of Gladiator game last night. <laughs> Classic donate $25 to have somebody play a game and then just, <laughs> just fall asleep. Uh, it was pretty fun.
if that's any if that means anything it was fun I had a good time I could play more of it get rid of it we had some technical difficulties during Dark Souls I played that for like an hour and then I played some played some gladiator for about an hour now we are in a weird spot the digs have definitely been awkward. We in, in it feels like in a lot of these games we are not getting a bunch of stuff in our graveyard, but this is what it is. All right, they're gonna go for it. They have the absorb. Hopefully they don't have two. They're going for the gear hulk here. What basic lands do you use in your just guy? Uh, it is. I'll show you. Oh. Uh. Wow. Uh, I'm actually just gonna veto that then. Yeah. Uh, I use these. This is the island I always use. Uh, hold on. Uh, I guess sometimes I use snow covered, but when I'm not using snow covered, uh, God damn, I use snow covered a lot, huh? All right, this is the island I use. And then I use this planes, and then I use the matching mountain. It's by the same artist. Uh, use these three basics. I really like these three. They're all by uh, they're all by the same artist. Ravnica. I would suggest. I've used those forever. So I use those. Sometimes I use the cold snap. Uh, sometimes I use cold snap snows. Big fan of those as well. Stream's going pretty well. I do say so myself. Playing a little pioneer. Wow, they have actual negate. Um, I mean, this seems a little greedy, but I think I'm supposed to fight here. I expect another one because they're passing back and forth a lot, but I think this is fine. They're fighting like over half of that spell, you know. keep shocking myself <laughs> they're making a move they're gonna cycle sensor three six seven eight nine three five Four. It's a demo. Hmm. I could dig with four mana left here. And leave the deluge in the bin. No, 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 no. I think I just fire off a deluge. I expect them to counter it. I don't want it to be gear hole countering it. Fuck. Fuck, it's gear hole countering it. I, I mean, obviously this is horrendous, but... 
Oh, they're Gear Hulk digging. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna be able to Gear Hulk something. Hmm. I'm I'm flash to make a big deluge. I I have a decent chance of just finding Teferi. Well, there's Magma Opus too. I'm gonna go Teferi Magma Opus cycle. Talk. Wow, that was... I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was an interesting turn, is what that was. They got a way to kill my Teferi here. They got the burn. What is this? No way. You're just going for another Gear Hulk here into this mana? I like Storm Carp Coast. This card's cool. My drive home is miserable. It's almost 99 degrees out, and I don't have AC in my car. I want to die. Oh my god. I imagine you do want to die. Well, that seems super fucking greedy. Well. Let that happen. I can delve out to try to dig to another dispute. Eight. I'd have to get rid of my magma opus, but this is going to be problematic. I do think I cash in the treasure here and still do this, but I leave the magma. What am I going to do? Kind of want to absorb Deluge, I think. Need another Teferi. Because they're just going to like pass back all day long here. Hmm, you know what? I actually wish I played Glacial there. Veto dig. I don't think I'm supposed to just jam. Is I think this their next draw is the dude. Right. Torrential Gear Hulk to down their turn. They resolve the Hulk. So the Gear Hulk's their next draw, right? Two down. Yeah, it's their next draw. This is really punishing that I didn't play that glacial. I am playing into a sensor. I'm gonna dispute. Good draw. I can get rid of this. I think I'm supposed to over the shark.
And now they're gonna kill Teferi. I've got Torrential on March to kill the 3-3. Three, three. They just drew Torrential, but I've got counter for their Torrential. Oh, I've got it on Magma Opus, not on March. Oh, I should have cycled the sensor. Uh, I just am going to shock. I'm going to do this on their upkeep. Yeah, of course it's better on Opus. I forgot to add an Opus in my bin. They're just going to jam. They are going to Opus. Uh, I'm gonna censor their opus. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm now going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Gear Hulk. They're gonna Gear Hulk. I'm gonna counter their Gear Hulk. They're not gonna Gear Hulk. Isn't their last card Gear Hulk? I might have miscounted. Three damage, one. Tap, tap. I don't think I did. I could have sworn their last card is Gear Hulk. What the fuck? Why wouldn't you. Big disagree on that decision, opponent. <laughs> Very large disagree on that decision. I mean, the result would have been the same, but big disagree on that. I I wouldn't have... Well, I don't know. I guess... I, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Nine, yeah. They didn't have anything. Did I not have... Did I have mana to pay for... Wow. Maybe they didn't. Yeah. Uh, wow. I guess they don't actually have a hard counter there. Well, we win. <laughs> right, man? Well, we probably win. They could have... Um, Cycle Big Shark, huh? I do cast this. I'll leave March in there as if they have the big shark. Absorb March. Even easier. Dead you. Odawara! Oh, I can't stop that one. Nice. Man, that's sick. Ha! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's super sick. Love it. Can't stop the Odawara. Hopefully, I don't have another one. Uh. Wait, what? It's a race. Well, it's a race change. A race change is on. Also, Blizzard is doing their big summer sale, and you know what's on sale? Oh, that's a bummer, Jazz. She just paid for a race change on WoW. <laughs> Maybe message them and be like, hey. <laughs> we did it! We won the pseudo mirror. Uh, the white cards felt pretty good. So they're just playing blue red, and then they're doing creativity. Um,. And I guess they just creativity into Hulk. Is that the idea? It's just torrential that they're creativitying into. So they're like more in on Magma Opus than we are somehow. No, she's a uh, she's a night elf. She race changed to a night elf.
Cool. Two and one. Two and one. Dos y uno. Do. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize they didn't have something that actually countered Hulk in their bin. That's awkward. That is awkward. That is awkward. <sighs> oh god. That was a weird ad campaign. Mr. T with the night elf mohawk. Jeggy. Hmm. What plays Gigantha in this format? And inspiring. What? That's not what I thought I was about to play against. It's kind of sick fizzling that. They get to like attack and recast it, but that's that's like a pretty big game right there. Okay. Uh, could be a good verdict, huh? Just gonna like. Just holding up. Oh fuck! It's blue red. Shit. I guess I'm cycling sensor. Okay, good. They just put Gigant in hand. Flashback, I'll take three. They do nothing. It's a good 
draw. Gigant, I'm guessing. Yep. I'm just planning on chump blocking here. Then I have Gear Hulk Opus block. Should have laid on the other side, but it's fine. How do you feel if they retemplated dual lands at hybrid mana? The color they produce, in effect, the same effect, just templated differently. Uh, I think that's a silly way to try to get around the reserve list i'm all for just get it just fuck the reserve list so i'd just just get rid of the reserve list <laughs> so they just need blue here Okay. You're not talking about getting around the reserve list. Templating to change hollowed fountain adding Azorius instead of choosing white or blue. I don't know then I don't understand what your goal is. Are you saying you want I I don't understand. What does that accomplish? I don't I don't understand what you mean by that. How does that make them different by changing how they're templated? You you can't have eight hollow fountains. I don't think like what's the point of having eight hollow fountains? Are you trying to say original duels, though, or are you trying to say the shocks? We don't need more shocks, so that doesn't change anything. What do you mean? I'm super confused. Minor templating change. The most it would really accomplish is making tapping mana easier on MTGO. It would be no practical. So you're saying changing the existing cards, not print additional cards that are now doing that. I don't know. That I haven't thought of that. I don't. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't care. <laughs> I don't know. I have no. I have no strong feelings one way or another regarding that. I guess.
I like the treasure here. I don't want to like do the treasure then have to use it, but I definitely want to protect my life total. Land, land, land. Uh, fuck. Alright, we pseudo get a land from Magma Opus. Obviously not really, but... Alright, so they have God's Willing. Obviously. Is the most problematic card here. <laughs> they are all pretty problematic in their own way. I really think I need to hit my land drop though, so it's like kind of nice, but not nice enough. That's kind of nice. You love me. I don't think you do. But I appreciate that. I appreciate the sentiment. I'm going to get rid of this because I do think that they have a God's Willing in hand. In a romantic sense. Hmm. I don't think you do. does tax their combat tricks. Interesting, it does. I want to get rid of that hearse, but I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to just do this while well, I know I'm going to kill it. They can't crew, and it denies them a card draw here. Lands. Oi. I mean, I, I there are things are cheap. I, I need to hit my land. There we go. And now this opens up me being able to roll into to fairy next turn. I still don't think I attack here. I'm going to get rid of two more things. Because that, I don't, don't want to get clonked by that thing. Yep. One O. Huh. 
That is a big unlicensed hearse. I'm gonna have to like try to to very tuck it. I think I do. I think I go Teferi. Like, I, I probably lose my Teferi, but then I think they... Is something making him cost one more? I think... They kill it, but to kill it, they're going to probably have to lose one of their guys. Which I think is okay. They like attack, they defiant the clever. I block the dread horde. Geralt obviously doesn't have anything yet, but. Goes at the Arcanist. Interesting. I mean, I still block the Arcanist here for sure. They just had to throw a ton of damage at Teferi, and I feel like I get to kill the Arcanist, but maybe they have like a pro and then go two mana, give it protection. Nope, I get to kill the Arcanist here. Okay, I mean, that feels reasonable. There's the hearse. Six flash. <laughs> five six, five six flash is not the worst. They didn't activate their hers there. It's XO where X is one plus the number of cards. Games. Okay, sure. Fine if this just absorbs a bunch of damage. Yeah, it's fine. I know it has trample, but it's still absorbing a bunch of damage. That, that's fine. You made them do a bunch of shit. I have good draws. They have one card in hand. Will they remember to activate that hearse now? They didn't. I think I send here. They can activate hers and I'll dig in response.
target two target does it count as different targets tap tap that costs five so instead One, 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 tap, tap, that'll cost three, and so I can leave up absorb. Oh, I, mm. yeah. Gives me a four, four, puts them to lethal to the Hanada. I'm not dying on board here. I know they have Gigantha, mystery card, mystery card. Yeah, okay. All right. You know, this kills white creatures. Let's take these sensors out. Kind of forgot that that kills white creatures. They have quite a few of those. The absorbs are awkward. I kind of want the farewell. I'm going to do the farewell over an absorb. I don't think I want the deafening silence. It's It's interesting. It's obviously interesting against this like heroic prowess deck. Kings, what? Uh, bring in sensor. Like over the absorb. Sensor's really awkward. Uh, it, I'm on the draw. Yeah, it, it's a fine card on the play. I think it's not fine on the draw. Their deck's all one and two drops. I, I really, like, it's not online until they're on three mana and then it can't counter their two drops. Or, like, I, I, I don't think so. It's too awkward on the draw. I like the farewell because I can go creatures artifacts and get rid of the vehicle too. Like, on the play, I think sensor's okay. Kings, don't be stupid. You're being stupid today. Stop being stupid. It's not ideal, but let's see if we can win them all the five. It's not going to be easy. They have their best turn one play. super well into our verdict their draw is like a super weird draw that just happens to be super fucking good into our verdict yeah. i'm just dead 
Well, we had an interesting game one and two. This game three is just like stupid. <laughs> it's just not a thing. I, my magma hope it just gets eaten here. I'm getting these are all redrawing they're pumping me for huge fucking damage and I I have to one for one with my verdict still gotta do it I could just sit here and hold up absorb I guess but that's not really gonna get there I had a mulligan to five. I never saw a march, never saw a portable hole. It is what it is. Get variance. Nerd. Match number five. Can we pull out the three two? Let's find out. I only lose because the opponents are lock sacks, usually, yeah. I've never lost a legitimate game of magic in my life. I got this card from uh, Baldur's Gate. I'm trying to figure out if I can make it do anything. I don't know what, but I got this one. The like Jeskai Legendary that says you can activate creatures, activated abilities as, as though they had haste. So like, I feel like you can do something with this card. And you can make it so if you like pay a bunch of mana, you can copy an activated ability, but I was more interested in the fact it's a 4-4 with haste that makes it so you can have other activated abilities, like other creatures be able to activate their abilities as if they had haste. There's gotta be like something you can do with that card, right? I feel like there's gotta be something you can do with that. Like, I thought about, like, oh, yeah, I guess you can, like, twin immediately, but, like, that's still seven mana, so that's, like, not very good. Now, oh, gosh, this is another aggro deck. Yeah, but if it was a commander situation, I mean, I was thinking in the, like, commander mindset. You don't get green. But it does make mana dorks be able to activate immediately. I guess there's a dream... What's it called? That, that, uh, the unearth one. Who plays Commander? <laughs> I still, to this day, I still, to this day, reminisce. I bring it up every once in a while on stream about the time. I just fucking turned to Iona at you when you got handed the mono green deck. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Whoa, King's playing his stupid tax. His being stupid tax. Thanks, Kings. Yeah. You did you were you were due. You were due. I think I'm supposed to censor instead here. You were you were that was overdue. I know. <laughs> You've been saying some pretty stupid shit today. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was one of my finest moments. What is this? When an attacks, defending player may have you draw a card. If they do, remove it from combat. It's a six four. I mean, I guess I didn't leave up censor for nothing. Not using bits, I may catch him yet. <laughs> so not... Not gonna collect it, company me. Obosh into hand. Um, I want to get rid of the elf. No, no, I'm gonna cycle. Oh, right, Obosh means you can't play it. Right, 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 right. I forgot about that. I forgot Obosh has a uh, text on it. It's not just permanence. Anything can't be even CMC, huh? Oh, they're about fight rigging? Wait, what? Is that like a card? Hideaway. It's a hideaway thing? Two lands scammed. <laughs> Whoa. Can I do this and this? No. No account. I want to make them discard a card, but like, right? No, I get a discount, but I need it to discount too. Let's see, I have two lands left, so I would need it to discount too. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of it and slam for nine. Nine, yeah.
pickaxe or blocks. Fuck. <laughs> uh, attack you. Can I draw a spell? Please. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they're not even going to let me draw a spell. No, I know he is, Reach. I know. Oh, and I would have drawn a BM spell. Uh, no, I knew. I knew. That's why I was like, ooh. That was the reasoning for the ooh. Well, this is a way for me to kill Elf on One, which seems pretty important. I'll take those sensors out again. I don't like sensors on the draw. I think sensors on the draw might be big stink. I think I want the extra verdict. I wish this could hit planeswalkers. <laughs> Why can't this hit planeswalkers? Hello, wizards? Hanada looks pretty good in this matchup. Owen's Veto. Just cut all my counter spells. Just be about killing their stuff, you know? Play Merciless Eviction. But that doesn't let you choose, like, all of them, right? That one says choose one or more. Why doesn't Farewell say draw three cards on it? Checkmate Wizards. Does this hand suck? Kinda. It doesn't suck that bad, but it sucks pretty bad. Do 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 do. Bailed out. I was about to have to make maybe a hard decision there. Now I don't. Alright, now just give me lands. <laughs> and then eventually some kind of spell. Oh, baby, do you have nothing this turn? Okay, but they could have like a... They could have like a... Black spell here that I can't gust. They could play like one of those like giant black creature with a drawback. And that could be kind of scary because I kind of can't answer those. Yeah, like this guy. That's okay. Well, I could do for one myself. I don't really want a two for one myself. But I could. They shock? Eee. None of that. But now I know it's there, so I'm gonna gust it. If they put it on top, then I'm gonna kill their guy. They put it on the bottom. Smart. 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 Uh, no, I will receive that damage. <sighs> I don't hate a land there. I am going to do this in case they do have another great henge. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them. Shock? Whoa. Nissa. Garbroth. Okay, that's fine. Land. Aye. Alright. If I could have tucked that Garbroth, it would have been game over. Okay. Don't play anything else. Nothing else. Alright, sweet. Ugh. 
gone. Okay, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. We've got a Teferi. We've got a removal spell. Huh. Okay. I can get rid of that. I can't hold it. I'm gonna go for the verdict. I do not know if that's right. I think it is, because Ronus is indestructible, so I want the this to get rid of the the Ronus, I think. Obosh to the hand. I could cast that. I could cast that. I think I will. Then they're going to draw... What's his name? Yeah. I think I will. Drew me two lands again, though. All right, three, two, three, two. Not too terrible. Uh, we played against Esper. In that Esper deck, whew, I mean, don't play against that deck if you're playing this deck. Uh, gee golly. That, I, I don't know what you could possibly do in that matchup to have a chance. Um, I think the Prowess matchup was also very close. Um, game three, you know, it, it, this, is, this is a different format. Uh, game three is what it is, but, you know, they, they kind of just ran us over there. Um, we're, we're packing quite a bit of early removal. We just didn't find it. Um, honestly, Portable Hole was, like, kind of an MVP. I kind of just want four. Uh, it felt like, I don't know, it feels like it's very good in this format. I, I would consider just playing a full four um, Portable Hole. Uh, I don't know if that's just... I, I, everything I say here, take with a grain of salt, because this is based off of one league of this format in its current iteration. So I, I, I don't really know, but Hole felt very good. Gear Hulk felt great. Gear Hulk felt really good. Um, I am interested in trying the creativity, just like the blue-red creativity into Gear Hulk Magma Opus thing. I think Hinata was interesting, but the other white cards... Like, we did get to do the Hinata thing. We did get to do the Hinata thing. I kind of wish this was the Surveil thing. Dig was good, but clunky. I know I know. Mr. McChillin was kind of torn between Deluge and Dig. Honestly, the 2-2 split just didn't feel that bad. I kind of liked the 2-2 split. I fucking hate Sensor. And it is, like, I kind of want cantrips in this deck. Like, I feel like Dig gets so much better if if we can play, like, Consider. If this deck can play Consider, then we're going to be, like, finding our things more often and also fueling our Dig. I want Consider in this deck. The thing is, like, Teferi and March were the reasons I wanted to be white. Verdict was also good. I didn't care about this. Vito was fine. Hinata was, like, okay. But, like, I... I feel like, in like, Farewell, whatever. I never cast it. But I liked these. March was really good. March was really good. Hmm. I also wish I could have played Emperor. I really want to play Emperor in this deck. Uh, I list a couple ideas. Yeah, I, I super want at least the first copy of Emperor here. Thrix, what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit, Thrix is cool. <laughs> what a crazy card. What a crazy card. Thrix is so cool. I don't know if that's real life, but... Mm, I don't know about this business. This, this, I don't... I, I, well, okay, I see what you're doing here, though. Okay. This is... 
This is interesting. This is interesting. This is a totally different direction. Totally different direction, but definitely interesting. This is a card I really want. I don't know... Like, maybe you don't need all of these. Like, I would at least have the first Hinata be the first... Or the, the fourth Hinata be the first Emperor. Yeah, yeah, that's true, Mr. McChone. That's true. In the, in, but in that case, you don't really want the Emperor. But that is true. Maybe that's a direction you can go. Hmm. I don't know, the Hinata just felt, it, it was interesting. Like, the 4-4 four -four body did a really good job of just, like, buying us a ton of time in a handful of matchups where I just, like, played it, and it was like, boom. They can't, they couldn't attack through it. It was just, you know, flying creatures, it didn't matter. Like, it, just being that 4-4 four -four flying trample was nice. <sighs> I'm very torn on this list. Very torn. I just know I, I wanted Emperor. I wanted Emperor bad, and I wanted consider I wanted emperor and I wanted consider I don't know how important farewell is but it feels like that could have been a in emperor as well maybe you like trim some numbers and fit consider in Like have this be well let's open this chest. Gimme give gimme give big money. Yikes. Was the deck fun? Oh, it was super fun, yeah. It was super fun. What do we do like? I really like the card Magma Opus. How can I fit this in? I really want to, I really want these in the deck. I don't know if they're reasonable, but I want them there. Maybe you can like not main deck a veto. Can you play two Hanada? Like Hanada really was just like okay. I could play one less sensor, one less absorb. Sensor was like a little bit booty. Which one do you think's better? Do you think Absorb or Sensor's better? This card can just win games like on its own. It's so good. I think the cut is one of these two. I don't know which one though. But I think if you cut one of these two, get that Emperor in there, and then get Considers, and that's gonna make your dig through times better. It's gonna help you find your pieces better. I think the mana felt fine. The mana felt good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked the mana. I think he did a good job building the mana base. It felt consistent. It felt like it was casting the spells I needed it to cast. I do kind of want the fourth hole. I don't know over what. Maybe the extra verdict. That's kind of nice. The fries felt really good. Maxing out and disputes felt really good. I imagine you need. Ooh, I imagine you need the silences, but maybe one of these four cards I think should maybe be the fourth hole. Um, I think I don't know which one, but one of those maybe should be the fourth hole. I just felt like this was so important. Like I want, I want four of those for the green matchup. I think. And I feel like the green matchup's gonna be popular. And then there's like it seems like there's a lot of like Swift Speary kind of thing going on too. And having it there would be good as well. Having it there would be good as well. Alright. Um, what time is it? 740? Do you guys wanna do some more souls? I've been doing my after show. My my variety hour has been uh, Dark Souls. You guys want to see some Dark Souls one? Um, yeah. Thank you again, Mr. McChillin, for donating for this list. That was a lot of fun. Um, 
I'm so glad that we were uh, able to take down Mono Blue, though. That was that was like the highlight for me. We had some really good matches, and I'm just I'm so glad we were able to take down Mono Blue. It gets me every time we go to play Pioneer. It's like I have this rude reminder that Mono Blue exists, <laughs> and it just gets me every time. Um, well, cool. That was a blast. Uh, I think I am gonna gonna swap over here to some uh, some variety content. Uh, so hang tight. I'm gonna get that all. Uh, I'll set up and we will uh, do some of that. Be right back. Uh, boo.